Now we shall pray the angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O forth, beseech you, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, through whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the messenger of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We begin our celebration invoking the blessings of the Holy Trinity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to our celebration this afternoon. Well, today we celebrate the feast of St. Martha, and she is the patron saint of all the chefs or cooks. And our sisters here, they are everybody cooks. And we, we can pray to us St. Martha when you have difficulties in cooking, and she will help you because she had been very, very good in preparing food for our Lord as well. And, uh, and she is the sister of both Martha, Mary and Lazarus too. And we pray all the people who bear the name Martha, and I heard that former sacristan who was the predecessor of uh, Danka was Martha, so we'll remember her soul as well. So with these few thoughts in also, sorry, uh, we have, uh, uh, we remember and pray for Gettinio, uh, Rosina, Tomba, this is members, and we pray that God may offer them God's eternal rest. With these few thoughts in mind, we come into the celebration of the Eucharist, thinking of our own difficulties, our failures, and uh, of course asking God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us glorify God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, Grant, we pray, 
that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be, to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another since love comes from God and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only son so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. My dear people, since God has loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us and his love will be complete in us. We can know that we are living in him and he is living in us because he lets us share his spirit. We ourselves saw and we testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. We ourselves have known and put our faith in God's love towards ourselves. God is love, and anyone who lives in love lives in God, and God lives in him. The word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. I will take all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terror he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called. The Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. I will thank the Lord at all times. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to sympathize with them over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said, I know. He will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, 
I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who has to come into this world. Friends, the saving gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, at the introduction, I mentioned that today we celebrate the feast of St. Martha, the sister of Mary and Lazarus. We listen to the readings of today's liturgy in today's gospel passage. We have a very important uh, incident mentioned in today's gospel passage, namely, our Lord uh, went to uh, sympathize with Martha and Mary over the death of their brother, Lazarus. And sympathizing with the mourners is a sacred tradition in Judea, uh, which means that, uh, of course, when we hear about a funeral or someone is, uh, has passed away, we sympathize with them. Sometimes we come for the funeral service and we go and then uh, spend a few hours or days with them. Uh, that's how it happens. But in Judea, what they usually do is when they hear about uh, a death of someone, they go and wait with the families until they come back to the normal life, until they become normal, you know, uh, until then they will remain with the mourners, friends. That is, that, that's how it becomes a sacred tradition because they wait until they come back to life. Now, Jesus, being a Jew, respecting the traditions of that time, went to sympathize with Martha and Mary. And it is there that we have the conversation uh, that took place between Martha and our Lord. Now, initially, my brothers and sisters, now, Martha, uh, who at the death of her brother, Lazarus, had the faith to declare that God would accomplish anything that our Lord build. And then uh, she heard the voice, uh, the words from our Lord, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And our Lord now questions Martha, do you believe this? And she says, yes, Lord. And you are the Christ, the son of the one who has son of God, the one who has to come into this world. She believed that Jesus is the Messiah and Jesus is the son of God and who has come into this world to save the world and the people as well. What a wonderful statement she made uh, to the, the, uh, the, um, the statements that our Lord uh, pronounced uh, at that moment, my brothers and sisters. So the message that we can gather from today's feast and the gospel passage would be, now, like Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, it was said like they, uh, they were missionaries in southern part of France. They went and preached the good news. Probably they wouldn't have known the language, but they represented the Lord and then shared the, 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 the kingdom values of the Lord and preached the good news to the people of, uh, of France in the southern part of France. Likewise, in our own little ways, let us try our best because we have already believed that Jesus is the Son of God and Jesus is the Messiah who has come into this world to save you and me. And we believe in that. Therefore, believing in that very, in the, that very big uh, kind of a statement and that belief, we need to in turn, we need to go and proclaim the word of God to other people, share Jesus with others like Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And Lazarus was made the bishop of France in some uh, diocese of France, and he was made the bishop uh, as the history goes on to say. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, let us try to become true missionaries in his own way so that uh, we share Jesus with one another as these holy saints did. We pray that God may bless all of us and strengthen us and guide us, and especially the Lord will journey with you and me. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for it. By this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share the dignity of Christ who humbled himself in our midst. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in Saint Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as a homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that you, uh, your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Archbishop, Don, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, religious, and God's loving people and children. Remember your servants, Getenau, Rosina, Tomba, and Martha Mary Amato, 
whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also other brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martha, Saint Patrick, Saint Eugene de Mazenod, Saint Mary uh, of the Cross, Macaulay, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co as to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Perepsu metkum ipso eti hini ipso. Estibidio patrio omnipotente in unitate spiritu santi. Omnes honoret gloria. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. We gather all our prayers and praises into one, and now we address our Heavenly Father, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, friends. Lamb of God. you take away the sins of the world. And this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
May the holy reception of the body and blood of your Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of Saint Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for your prayerful participation and coming together. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord.